Mr. Mark. Yeah, sir, this will be the first time that Donald Trump's name is on a ballot in Georgia since the 2020 election. You know, given all that you and your family have been through since that time, uh, do you have any thoughts about the fact that by the end of the day he could clinch the GOP nomination for president? No, I've, I think it's been, uh, kind of seen this all coming down the road. Uh, he's been performing well in just about every state. He's won, except a couple. Uh, there were several candidates in there, but at the end of the day, he won out. That's how it looks like it's going to end up today, but I'm not making a prediction on that. Just like on the other side, there was a couple of folks that ran against the incumbent president, uh, President Biden, and uh, they all have now suspended their campaigns. So it kind of gets baked in there, as I said earlier, and it is what it is. And now uh, we're just going to have about seven and a half months of campaigning, and uh, I think that's going to wear everyone out, uh, no matter what side of the aisle you're on. It is what it is. You just kind of... Well, our job is to really be prepared, prepared for a big turnout. Because back in 2020, we told everyone we were gonna have a big turnout. We didn't know we were gonna get five million people. But if we had five million in 2020, I don't think anything's changed. I think we still have, you know, both political camps are in their corners and it's gonna be a very contested election. So I expect a big turnout, you know, November 2024. So we're gonna probably tell our folks, prepare for six. We don't expect six, but we want to, if you did show all up, but we did have six, would we be prepared for that so we keep those lines short? I think that was a tremendous thing when we added into state law, lines have to be shorter than one hour. You keep lines short to get those result, results posted quickly. That gives voters confidence just because, wow, they do things so efficiently. I can really trust the process. Yes, but we also have a verifiable paper ballot. Also, the General Assembly did put in additional audits. We're going to do that. And so we're, uh, we're prepared for any contingency. We've got a great team up and down the line. Given